When someone you love has a stroke, it can be devastating. So today we're trying to get you in the know to be more aware if you see it happening, because the sooner you get them help, the better the outcome. So I am happy to have Leah Helm, a nurse with Mount Carmel Health, joining me on the set. So welcome, Leah. Thanks for having me, Robin. So people may be surprised. I think they hear 800,000 people a year. How many people are impacted by this? Yet yeah, um, at 800,000 a year, that means that about every 40 seconds, somebody in the United States is having a stroke. Um, so it's a lot more common than you may think. Um, now for every person who dies from a stroke, about five times that many do survive, but the impacts of that stroke can be devastating. Absolutely. Good to know, though, that there are things that people are surviving and they can get help. So let's start with a question that kind of may seem obvious, but what exactly is a stroke? Well, a stroke occurs when the blood supply to an area of your brain is diminished for a period of time that can, um, even just within moments, um, brain cells can begin to die. So knowing a stroke when you see it, that's really the key to recovery. So I know that there are some signs and we'll go through um, some more specific things, but there are a lot of things that you can kind of look out for when somebody's about to have a stroke. So tell me what you need to, to keep an eye out for. So the way that I usually start to explain to my patients oh, an easy way to remember the signs of stroke is the acronym FAST, um, F-A-S-T. The F stands for face. So you're going to, if someone in your family, a friend is having what you think may be a stroke, ask them to smile. And if part of, if one side of their face or their smile is not symmetrical, you see drooping on one side, or if they're having facial numbness, um, that's a warning sign, as well as the A standing for arm. If you have them hold their arms up like this, if one starts to drift down, um, if they're having numbness in one arm or weakness, um, as well as S stands for speech. So slurred speech, um, trouble repeating a simple sentence back to you, not being able to say what they want to say or understand um, what you're saying to them. Those are all um, signs that you need to call 911 immediately. So the T stands for time because time is brain. So and that's the thing. If people are getting confused, I mean, even if they have one of these symptoms, you should act fast, right? Exactly. A lot of people think, well, you know, I really just have um, I really just have a little bit of numbness on the side of my face and then it went away. So I'm fine. That was just some some weird thing that happened. I'm going to ignore it. If you have any sign, even if it goes away quickly, you still want to call 911. It's also too import, important to remember that if it doesn't fit in the FAST acronym, it doesn't mean that it's not a sign of stroke. So there are other signs such as um, biggest headache of your life. Um, sudden confusion, lack of coordination, trouble writing. I've had plenty of patients who have said, well, I was trying to write a check at the bank and I just couldn't do it. And that was my only sign. So really, as soon as you notice any of these unordinary or unordinary symptoms, even if it goes away, you want to call 911 as soon as possible and start your treatment. And how exactly does time impact recovery and long term recovery? So the sooner you seek treatment, um, the higher likelihood that you'll have a better quality of life afterwards because as soon as those symptoms start, your brain is already experiencing a lack of oxygen and nutrients to that area of your brain. So the longer it's deprived of oxygen and nutrients, the greater the damage will be. And then that could be even more catastrophic to your quality of life afterwards. And I know Mount Carmel very well equipped to deal with patients who have strokes. Yes, um, actually Mount Carmel East, West and St. Anne's are all stroke certified um, centers. So you'll have a um, stroke coordinator who will help you and your family navigate the whole process. And if you need care or therapy afterwards, we'll um, link you up with one of our trusted providers afterwards. So um, really we're with you the whole the whole way, every step of the way to try to get you the best quality of life as, as you possibly can after your stroke. And Leah, there's a free assessment. The website for that, very simple, right? Mount Carmel Health slash FAST, the acronym that you just mentioned. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me.